You take the good, you take the bad, you take it all, and then you've had the stacks of life. The stacks of life. Funny how the camera's focused on something I designed that I want everyone to buy. Oh, hello. Hi, I'm Dave, and I really have no idea who Real Tough Candy is. She hired me because she thought I looked like John Malkovich. It is what it is. Peace. Got a great question today from my guy Stan Man in my Discord channel asking, is knowing a specific stack really that important? Does it really matter? I thought this was a great question. As an up and coming junior dev, you've probably heard of these Udemy courses. You've probably seen other courses out there that advertise themselves, build themselves as boot camps, as coding boot camps. Now, coding boot camps, at least all the ones I've ever seen, and I've seen quite a few of them over the past three years, probably four years, they're full stack boot camps. And this is something they don't really tell you up front. It's like, oh, you want to learn web development? We're going to teach you React. We're going to teach you JavaScript. We're going to teach you, yeah, yeah, HTML, CSS. We're going to teach you Express. We're going to teach you a runtime like Node. We're going to teach you PHP, you know, whatever. It's the full stack. We're going to teach you a database or how to work with databases. It's the full stack. Um, and a lot of courses don't bill themselves as full stack. They just say, yeah, here, learn web development. So you get into these courses, um, especially the Udemy boot camps, which are great values, don't get me wrong. But you get into these courses right out the gate, your ideas about web development are centered around the full stack. And so the question of the stack, oh, do I need to learn the LAMP stack for a PHP job? Do I need to know the MERN stack for a React job? You don't. As a full stack developer, stacks are incredibly important, uh, especially when you start building your portfolio, because employers can see nearly instantaneously uh, that you're actually a MERN stack developer. Uh, so, you know, you have five or six projects, they're all incorporating the MERN stack, and they're hiring for the MERN stack. It's like, ooh, okay, this is a good sign. So it gives your employer just a great sign right away that you can work with that stack. Stacks are for full stack development normally. You don't hear about, you know, a front end development stack. There is a front end stack called the Jam Stack, which is JavaScript, APIs, and Markdown, or is it Markup? I always confuse the two. Someone will correct me, I'm sure. But the Jam Stack is the front end stack that you hear quite a bit. But going back to the point, is it really that important? As a full stack developer, mission critical. As a front end developer or a back end developer, I don't think the stacks are should be front and center. If you're building a React project for your portfolio as a front end developer, any type of back end stuff you use, if you decide to integrate Node, you decide to integrate MySQL or NoSQL database, that back end stuff is just playing a supporting role. You don't need to know databases inside and out. You don't need to know, know runtimes, back end runtimes inside and out. You don't need to know PHP inside and out. Um, but it is helpful to know a little bit because the problem is all of these employers want us to have 30 years experience, even though you've only been practicing this stuff for like a year. They, they want you to do everything. And so it's kind of troublesome that way because the candidate who has the same experience as you, the same junior developer, development experience, has five or six portfolio projects, React focused, blah, 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 same for same. But if they know a little bit of Node or a little bit of PHP, then they've already got the edge as a job candidate because the employers want to get the most amount of work out of you as possible. It's not intrinsically a bad thing, um, but I think a lot of employers just don't understand the absolute work it takes to get even 1% of this stuff working. It's a lot of work. Front end development's a lot of work. Back end's a lot of work. Full stack, it's a lot of work no matter what. So if you're focused on a job and you definitely are focusing on the front end of things or the back end of things, I usually focus on front end stuff in the videos because I don't know anyone who's a back end developer. Uh, most people I know are doing front end stuff. Try as best as you can to cater to your potential employers in your area. Now, if you're open to relocation, then you have more flexibility, even Django jobs. Yeah, they're few and far between, um, but if you're a Django developer and you're, you're ready to travel, you can work for NPR or something. There's like a lot of news companies and a lot of uh, media companies, older media companies that have been around for a while who use Django. Now here is the actual really good news is that once you get into the industry and you've been around for a few years coding and developing and architecting for a few years, the stacks, the tools, the implementations become less and less important. Now, a lot of times when you're looking at senior job openings, even on like Google's uh, job page, 
they want you to have experience in one or more of the following languages. It can be Python, it can be C Sharp, it can be C++, it can be JavaScript, Java. They have less of an emphasis on the actual tool, the actual language, because at that point in your career, you really honed in on your problem solving process and you can pick up a language in a day or two. But once you get to that certain level, it's just like, okay, you can pivot very easily. As a beginner, it's not so easy to pivot because there is just so much information coming your way. I remember when I was starting to learn web development and software development, I just got so frustrated because of all the different terms and proper nouns you had to learn. Like I'd be reading uh, an article geared towards newbies and half of the stuff I, I'd have to Google and just find even more words I didn't understand. So it's just like, how am I ever gonna understand this stuff if I can't even read a simple article? But it does get easier. And again, I wanna emphasize this problem solving process thing because I find that a lot of us, myself included sometimes, focus so much on the language, focus so much on getting JavaScript down, when in fact the more pressing issue is your problem solving process isn't quite up to snuff. And it's not a personal issue that you're having, it's just that this is an educational process. And eventually you're gonna to get to the point where it does get easier. You do build more and more things and you're just like, okay, this is actually clicking a little bit. Guys, it takes a long time. It doesn't come overnight, so don't beat yourself up. I know it's so easy to get frustrated, especially when you see other people saying, yeah, I got a job in two days after studying. Like, no, you didn't. You're not telling the whole story if you did, okay? Stop it. Let me summarize. Stacks are important if you're a full stack developer because you can show your employer right away that you know the MERN stack, you know the mean stack, you know the LAMP stack with your projects. And if they're hiring for that stack, it could be a real good match and they're gonna see that right off the bat. If you're a front-end developer or a back-end developer, I think the stack is less important, but if you know a little bit of a LAMP stack or a little bit of the MERN stack when you're billing yourself as a React developer or PHP developer, it's gonna put you ahead of the candidates, even if it's just marginally so. Uh, so even if you know even just a few terms or a few how-tos with something like Mongo, if they're looking for uh, a React developer, that's gonna put you ahead. Do you absolutely need to know the Jamstack as a React developer? No, I would say that's kind of wasting your time uh, because the focus is React. However, your JavaScript skills should be, you should be pretty comfortable with them. You don't need to be a guru because that takes quite a long time. Um, you don't need to be a guru. You don't need to be an expert. Uh, but you should know programming basics. You have to know programming basics and you have to know JavaScript basics. Uh, I know how tempting it is to just like dive right into the fun stuff, which is a framework. Those are always fun, Svelte, React. I mean, I could just keep naming them off all day because every one of them I find interesting. Um, but the boring stuff, you gotta give some love to the boring stuff and you gotta build some vanilla projects, vanilla JavaScript projects um, to get that down. I hope this video was helpful and I want to hear your opinion on how important stacks are, whether it's LAMP, MEAN, MERN, what's the context, whatever, whatever the context, are they really that important as a junior? You guys know my opinion because I just talked about it in a monologue for 10 minutes. Um, I'm going to go try and scare myself in this park, see if I can find any ghosts or woolly mammoths or something, and I will see you in the next video.